In this video series, I'm going to be going over Visual Studio Code, Live Share, Discord, and Front End Mentor. But in this video, we're going to be going over Visual Studio Code and Live Share. I'm also going to be showing you Live Server as well. But let's start with Visual Studio Code. So, what is Visual Studio Code? Visual Studio Code, also commonly referred to as VS Code, is a source code editor made by Microsoft. So, basically, it allows you to write code. Go ahead and type Visual Studio Code into a search engine, Bing, or Google, and this should pop up here, code.visualstudio.com, and click the link. You're going to see this page pop up. So version 1.82 is now available, and the download button specific for your operating system should be there, but you also have options. But you should be able to go ahead and just click download for your operating system you can see it it brings me to a page that says thanks for downloading VS code for Windows it is downloading now right here and if you don't see it downloading here go ahead and click the three dots at least on Windows there is something else for Mac and Linux click on downloads and you'll see it pop up here and if you don't see it in the browser, go ahead to your file explorer, click on downloads, and you'll see VS Code download right there. So go ahead and double click the download. I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna do this, but go ahead, accept the agreement, click next, just keep it default, click next, and then go ahead and install. I'm not gonna do it, but go ahead, it's gonna install on your computer, and after the install, you will have Visual Studio Code on your computer. If you don't see it on the desktop, just go to the search, or wherever the programs are on your computer, click on Visual Studio Code, and boom, that's Visual Studio Code right there. So, on the left, you're gonna see these icons. You have an explorer, you have a search, you have source control, you have a debugging and you have extensions if you don't see these icons here just go to view and you can see explore search source control and run and extensions so you can click these to see them um, if I go to extensions extensions is gonna pop up and so what we need to do now is we need to install live share so go to extensions Type in live share. It's going to be the first one that pops up. A real time collaborative development from the comfort of your favorite tools. It's created by Microsoft and it has 13 million downloads, so it's a really great tool. Mine says disable. Yours is going to say install, so go ahead and click that install button. It's pretty quick. It's a small program, and this is going to add this tool to Visual Studio Code for you. And I definitely encourage you to explore the extensions here. Like if you're a JavaScript developer, um, go ahead and get JavaScript extension. If you're a React developer, they have React extensions to make it easier to code. But go ahead, read this documentation in case you run into any issues. You could see if you read these, you're gonna have all the information you need if you run into any issues, troubleshooting if you run into problems, and it's just uh, good to get into the habit of reading documentation. So go ahead, read through that so you understand what this tool does. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute anyways. The second tool we need to install is Live Server. So Live Server is launch and development local server with a live reload, and this is so you don't have to reload your browser every single time you make edits to your code it's just going to automatically update in your browser it makes development a lot easier so go ahead and install that tool right there same thing read the documentation just so you can understand and know where to go if you run into any issues and then you should be good to go so i have a project open already this is a front-end mentor project and i'm going to show you how to use live share and live server and so let's assume now that this is me in the peer programming session I'm leading the session I'm gonna create the live share link I'm gonna make this server go live and then I'm gonna share all that information with my team or my pair and so I need to share that with them so that they could code with me 
So someone has to take the lead. I'm going to take the lead. And then this browser is my pair. This is the person who's, who's um, coding with me. So on my end, I'm going to start the collaboration session. You can see invitation link copied the clipboard. So now I have that link. Okay. I'm also going to go live. So you can see this is the HTML right here. You can see this HTML right here, your result 76 out of 100, your result 76 out of 100. So this is what live server does. It opens it up in my in my browser. And so this is the collaboration link. I just want to recopy that, make sure I have it. And I'm going to send this link to my partner or my team. And when they click this link, they're going to have access to my code. If they make modifications, I'm going to see it happening on my side. If I make modifications, they're going to see it happening on their side. It's basically like Google Docs, but with code. And so since I copied the collaboration link, share it in a message, share it through Discord, or share it however you want to share it, I'm going to go ahead and just post it in my browser so they could click it or they could post it in their browser you're gonna see this pop up here sign in or continue as anonymous just continue as anonymous it's a lot easier it's gonna give you an opportunity to enter your name anyway so whoever shared the link knows who you are so go ahead enter your name join a collaboration session and then the one who sent the link is gonna to have to accept that person so you could see now there's a participant named Jim in the session. And if Jim is typing in his browser, I'm going to see it happening on my screen. Jim is deleting. And then same thing. If I'm typing code in my code editor, J. Gabe, Jim is gonna see it happening on his screen. So it's a really, really cool collaborative tool. Makes coding super easy. And now, since I have a live server running, I have live share running, I can share a server. So if I have live server is this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and share a server. And now any participants, anyone I shared the link with will have access to this server here. Okay. So you can see, go to live share and they should have access to the same server that I'm sharing here. So not only can you edit the code, change the code right here in the code editor, but if I'm over here in Connecticut and they're over there in New York, they're going to be able to code with the same code that I'm coding with, and they're going to be able to enter localhost 5500 into their browser and have the same updates in their browser that I have in my browser. So it's just a really, really great tool. Um, if the participant who received the link and joined the session does not see the shared server, then I would say go ahead and just close it. You could see on my end, Jim left the collaboration session. I'm gonna go ahead and let's just say Jim clicks the link again. Continue as anonymous. Jim, accept read and write. And then you should have access to the server. So sometimes there is a little buggy with the shared server, but if you can't access localhost 5500 go ahead and just close it jump back in and you should be good to go at that point there so yeah that is visual studio code live share and live server if you have any questions on any one of these tools right here just leave it in the comments and i'll do my best to help you out don't forget to read the documentation and the next video is going to be about Discord. I'm going to be showing you how to download and install it. And then I'm going to be introducing you to our server where we actually host the peer programming session. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.